Hey everyone. Well, it's time for monthly prayer. On the first Wednesday of every month, we come together from 7 to 7.30 to pray for our nation, for our community, and pray for our church. And tonight, I want to focus on our new prayer points that we have tonight. Our, this past Sunday, we had a wonderful time uh, at church. The presence of the Lord was extremely strong. We're doing a series right now on the Holy Spirit. And so I think that these prayer points really go along with what's going on right now in the Spirit. And so the first one is for all in our nation to honor God and His Word. And I also want to say that, you know, we have some scriptures there too. And uh, I'd like for you to look those up and, and read those scriptures on these points because uh, they're important. And we need to honor God and His Word. And we need that in our nation. And I can hear all the amens out there. Uh, the next one is that we would have righteous leaders in the church and in our nation. And we're talking about the church at large, the body of Christ, and in our nation. We need righteous leaders in, uh, in both. And if you look at 1 Timothy 2, 1 through 4, he talks about the kings of the earth and that how that, it, you know, we need to have righteous leadership. So be sure and check that out as well. For protection of our country and our nation. Uh, and, you know, in Zechariah, 2 5 it says that the Lord was to Jerusalem a wall of fire and this is important because God's glory was also in their midst because of that and so I want us to pray for the same for us it, that we would have that protection that wall of fire but that we'd be filled with God's glory and God's glory would be in our midst just imagine if God's glory was just descended upon us in our church in our community in our neighborhoods, just wherever we are, this would be awesome. Now, we also have down for the protection for the members of the Connection Church and wisdom for the leadership of our church moving forward. And, and as the lead pastor of the church, I want to say that we need wisdom and I need wisdom moving forward in all things. Sometimes it's easy for us to overlook something. And I want to make sure that we're not overlooking anything, that we've got all our uh, I's dotted and our T's crossed. So pray for wisdom and, and that the Lord would just speak to our leadership with all the eldership uh, in the church, that we would have the wisdom moving forward in our church. And then the last one is, I'd like for everyone you know, to do this. Choose one day a week to fast and pray. Look, we're fasting for the increase of the presence of the Lord in our Sunday morning services and for us to be full of the Holy Spirit. And look at those verses there in Acts 13, 2 through 4 as well. Uh, on that prayer point there, because we want to take one day and fast. There's power in fasting. There's power in prayer. And so we want to make sure that we do that. And when we pray, when we agree, when we fast, uh, we'll, we, will, we will have that increase of the presence of the Lord, and we will get filled with the Holy Spirit. So tonight, pray. Pray for as long as you can, Hopefully you can pray from uh, from now until 7.30. But if you're watching this video a little late, just go ahead and pray at least 20, 30 minutes, you know, corporately here tonight as a church. Let's pray. Father, tonight we just thank you and we just praise you for your presence. Lord, we thank you for the leading of your spirit in all of these things. We thank you that we are uh, being filled with your spirit and that your glory is descending upon us. And we thank you that that wall of fire is being erected right now over us and in our church, in our nation, in our community. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Well, keep on praying. God bless, and we will see you this Sunday.